Welcome back, Star Wars fans, to the Hyperspace Database. I'm Jonesy the Mandalorian, your host here with today's topic, the RX-200 Falchion-class tank. The RX-200 Stun Tank, or Falchion Ion Tank, was an anti-aircraft heavy artillery tank developed by the Rothana Heavy Engineering Corporation and was used by the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars. The tank was 28.6 meters long, or 94 feet, and was capable of reaching land speeds of 90 kilometers per hour, or 56 miles per hour. It was armed with one NNJ-40 Thunderbolt long-range ion cannon, as well as two light auto blasters for close quarters combat. It was crewed by two pilots and one vehicle commander. The RX-200 assault tank was a sleek, low-profile tank that was primarily used to disable targets with its massive ion cannon, and was in itself a subtype of the famous self-propelled heavy artillery turbolaser tank seen in the first battle of Geonosis in Attack of the Clones. This model of tank, also developed by Rothana Heavy Engineering, was the largest ground-based weapon in the Republic's arsenal at the time, and was basically a slow-moving turbolaser on legs which was used to great effect against the fleeing Separatist forces that were attempting to launch their core droid control ships into orbit. While the RX-200 was basically a cousin to this powerful land tank, in functionality it was basically a slimmed down version of the same vehicle. The main feature of the RX-200, its Thunderbolt Ion Cannon, was a weapon that was traditionally found on capital starships, not land vehicles. That being said, the power consumption needs for this weapon were large and demanding. So much so that the tank had to have its own dedicated high output reactor to compensate for the incredible power drain. This ion cannon had an impressive range of fire. It was often used to disable enemy aircraft, though this had an unintended negative side effect. If the tank succeeded in disabling an incoming enemy ship, the tank was not nimble enough to get out of the way, and could potentially be destroyed by the falling ship colliding with the unshielded tank. The most notable appearance of the RX-200 Falchion tank was during the Battle of Malastare in the Clone Wars TV show, when the fearsome Zillow Beast is awakened from slumber due to the testing of an electro-proton bomb. This super weapon was tested on droids on the Doug homeworld despite the protests of a concerned Mace Windu, who was worried about collateral damage to the Republic troops and the environment. As the Separatist army approaches, the Electro-Proton Bomb is deployed on the ranks of the enemy, shorting out all surrounding technology, even Anakin Skywalker's prosthetic arm, but leaves all the clones and Dug forces unharmed. As the Jedi attempt to barter with the Dugs for much-needed fuel, a giant sinkhole opens up in the ground, and the fearsome Zillow Beast is unleashed on the unsuspecting crowd, rampaging against all that would stand in its path. After battling the creature with little to no visible effect, the Jedi fall back to discuss their next move. The Dugs want to exterminate the Zillow Beast, saying that it is their ancient enemy. But the Jedi are not so quick to destroy an innocent life, monstrous though it may seem. The Jedi end up sending in the RX-200 ion tanks to subdue the creature, so that they may analyze its incredibly thick hide for military purposes. This act enrages the Zillow Beast and it destroys many of the tanks causing Anakin to order them back to engage the beast from a distance. This tactic works due to the incredible range of the RX-200, and it causes the Zillow Beast to tire and collapse, allowing Republic troops to safely transport it to Coruscant for study. Though Mace Windu has doubts as to the safety of this plan. As the Jedi Master feared would happen, the Zillow Beast breaks free of its restraints and rampages across the city world of Coruscant, causing mayhem and massive amounts of destruction as it goes. The RX-200 tanks are called upon yet again to take down the Behemoth Titan, though before they can act, Master Yoda stops them because the Chancellor is in the Beast's clutches. After a harrowing escape from the claws of the Zillow, the RX-200 tanks open fire, though they cannot maintain a constant stream of fire to bring the monster down. The Chancellor then orders the clone troopers to fire on the Zillow with poison gas rockets, which bring an end to the Zillow Beast and his rampage throughout the city. The RX-200 stun tank also makes an appearance in the LEGO Star Wars video game, in a mission reliving the events of the TV show, mimicking the attack on the Zillow Beast on Malastare. While the RX-200 Ion Tank was primarily seen during the Clone Wars, it was also seen in service to the Empire after the fall of the Republic, and continued to be used to dissuade enemy attacks by large land vehicles. They were often used to support other heavier ground vehicles of the Empire, such as AT-ATs and AT-STs, and were most often seen defending Imperial stations and critical strongpoints. 
The RX-200 Falchion Ion Stun Tank was a great asset to the forces of the Republic during the Clone Wars, and was a formidable force against enemy starfighters and large vehicles, with its incredible ion cannon disabling any enemy that would stand against the might of the Republic Army and the Galactic Empire. Want to know more about great Star Wars topics like this one? Stick around to the end for some secret trivia, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and you can check out my other videos for more great Star Wars content. Be sure to hit me up in the comments and chat with me too, I want to hear from you guys. Super special shout out to my Platinum Commander level Patreon supporter Uber Kaiser Sose, as well as my Gold Captain level Patreon supporters Miss2003, Nick Sutphin, and Matthew Scott. Your support is so helpful in keeping the show going, thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to chat with me in the comments, and you can follow the show on social media for more news and channel updates. I will see you guys in the next episode.